So today I'm going to upgrade my homemade battery bank. As you can see, this is 12 volts, 16 amp hours, and it's just got a cigarette lighter plug and a charging socket and a switch on the side. And these are the genuine Samsung IMR 18650 3000 milliamp hours. And yeah, I've tested every single one of them. So I'll use 48 of those and put them in this box. And that will make over a half a kilowatt hour uh, battery bank. So now I've just got to put these battery connectors together. And that's it. Used up 48 cells, uh, 3S, 16P. So I'll just solder all that up. The battery connector I made will just sit on top, just like that. I've got these nickel strips. So I don't have a fancy spot welder. So I've got a big 80 watt soldering iron. So just something like this. Bit of solder, there we go. You don't want to spend too much time. The less heat, the better. And there we go. Same on this side. And when you're doing these middle ones, just push down, a little bit of heat, the nickel sticks in. And we've got good solder joints all the way across. So it's all tested and each and every cell is connected correctly. So here's the completed battery. I've got the 60 amp BMS wired up. I've installed a balance wire just in case I need to balance the cells. That'll be my pack negative, pack positive. LCD screen can go there and the power switch will go there. The power switch fits in nice now. I've measured it just right. Hopefully I can cut it out. Right, so it looks like I might have got it just right. Looks like with a bit of pressure, that'll just, there we have it. I've got the LCD screen mounted perfectly, so it's nice and flush, and the power button as well. And as you can see, easily accessible on the back. Well, here's a problem. I uh, measured incorrectly. These are the clips to close the case. I've mounted the uh, power button and switch upside down, so I've just had to Put up with the LCD screen and the power button above, but oh, I don't mind. After a fair bit of wiring, everything now works. I've just got to reset 16 amp hours. Voltage is just but playing a bit low. I've just got to calibrate it. But here we go. There's the lid, and 60 amp BMS positive goes straight to the 12 volt output charger input. Uh, goes straight to the positive battery goes straight into the BMS and then out of the BMS into the shunt So there's no way the battery can be used without it being protected Under here, that's where I've got the cigarette lighter plug on the side I just used a bolt to hold the shunt in place. So now I can set the amp hour capacity to 48 amp hours and I've recalibrated the uh, voltage Got an 8 amp, 12.6 volt lithium charger. Just plug that in, and the screen will start flashing to tell you it's charging. It's charging at uh, about 9 amps. It'll it'll slow down after a bit, and the voltage will slowly climb up. And if you watch the amp hour capacity, that'll go up too, and you've got a temperature. Simple USB plug. So I'll plug that in. Green light tells you it's on. Cut the power, green light goes off. So it's all working.